Hey guys, this is the night before turkey season opens here in California, and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of my setup going into turkey season basically in the morning. So I am shooting the Bowtech Revolt X. This is a new bow for this year. The really nice part about it is that it does come with the deadlock technology, so you can unlock the cam here, push it left to right for tuning purposes, and then lock it back down. So that part's really nice. For my sight, I'm using the Excel Armor Tech HD Vision Pro. The nice part about that is that this does have a two inch housing so I can fit all seven pins within that housing and I can take this off and take the sight on and off the bow. For my rest, I'm using the AAE Prophecy. Now the nice part about the Prophecy is it is a drop away rest. Before you shoot, you will prop the rest up like that. If you shoot, the rest will fall out of the way, but if you don't and you let down, this will actually stay up which is really nice because sometimes when you let down, your arrow might fall off to the side, and with this rest, that won't happen. So I'm also using an AAE stabilizer. It's 10 inches. I just have a couple ounces on the front, just enough that if, you know, it'll make the bow tip forward. Um, and I am using Rogue Bow Strings. So these are the R21s, and they're really nice. I literally just threw them on yesterday, and they're already set, and I have confidence that they're going to stay put for turkey season. So something new this season, I'm using the True Bow Goat for hunting. Now I am shooting the blade for target. The difference is that the blade has a closed jaw and that's something that I don't really want for hunting. I really like that the goat has the open hook. So I am gonna use the goat for hunting just cause it's easier to hook on the D loop and make a really quick shot. So the last piece here, I'm shooting the Black Eagle Rampage Arrows. These are a 400 spine. I have a 27 and a half inch draw length and I'm shooting around 57 pounds. Um, this arrow is cut to 27 and a half and it weighs 380 grains total. I'm shooting a 100 grain broadhead. This is the Slick Trick Viper Trick broadhead. It's an inch and a 16th cutting diameter and it does have bleeder blades, which is nice. I've had some really good luck with those broadheads in the past, so I'm hoping it brings me luck tomorrow morning. And then I'm shooting the AE Hybrid 26 Banes. Now I don't know what my helical is. I fletch off a bits and burger, so there really is no way to know. I'm gonna guess it's around two degrees. Um, but again, there's no way to know exactly. I don't know if you can see it on there, but I literally eyeball it and I'm good with it. So I got everything sighted in. I'm ready to go. Good luck to everybody this turkey season. I hope you have a lot of fun. Hope you get out since we're stuck in quarantine right now. Best of luck. And I want to see your turkey pictures.